Sandy says read. Welcome to the channel. This evening we are going to do a, a sort of a story time, sort of a discussion, sort of a writing craft publishing industry talk. Yeah, it's a mishmash of things because you know we're, we're known for random here at the channel. <sighs> Let's begin. Okay, I don't want to call out the author's name and, and embarrass her in any way. That's that's not the purpose of tonight's talk. So I'm not going to mention who the author is, but there is an author out there on Twitter who shared with the writing community just a weird, crazy thing that happened to her. A reviewer sent her a direct message letting her know that that reviewer would no longer be following her because that reviewer found a mistake in her book. Yeah. Oh, horrors. Okay. So the reviewer found where she had left a letter off of a word and therefore the word was misspelled. It was a typo. And this is the end of the world, of course. So the reviewer sent her a direct message saying that he or she had DNF'd the book, was leaving a one-star review because of that typo and was no longer going to follow that author. Done with her. I'm like, oh my word. So all of us on Twitter were, were looking at this like, you've got to be kidding. But yeah, there are some readers out there who have like a zero tolerance policy for mistakes, apparently. So I wanted to do this quick video of how does that happen, right? I mean, how does a mistake get into a book? I mean, you have 418 pages. They should be flawless, right? All right, so here's how that can happen. Here's how you could end up with a mistake in your book. Even if you're published by one of the top five big publishing houses, traditional publishing houses out of like New York or wherever, you could still end up with a typo or even, heaven forbid, a grammatical mistake in your book. I have seen formatting errors in books out of like the big five, right? As a reader, as an author, I just, you know, skim past that because once in a while, a mistake like that is going to happen. They happen because we're human beings at the helm. Okay. Human beings are writing these stories. Human be better be writing these stories. Human beings are writing these stories. Human beings are editing. Human beings are the ones going, oh my gosh, this is a great concept. This is a great story. I'm in love with these characters. Let's buy this manuscript. Let's buy this book and let's market it. Let's promote it. Let's make this the next big thing. Humans are behind this and humans are fallible. And we're supposed to be fallible. I mean, come on, we, we help each other. We encourage each other. We help each other learn and grow. There you go. Okay, but how does this happen? How do these mistakes happen other than the fact that we are fallible humans doing this? They happen because, first of all, we do get in a hurry, right? I'm going to read for you something. I'm, I'm showing my sources, okay? The O Reader magazine, the most recent copy of O Reader. This is issue 14. It has some stats for us. Um, in the United States, between 500,000 and 1 million books are traditionally published each year. Let me read that for you again. In the United States, between 500,000 and 1 million books are traditionally published each year, and more than 2 million more are self-published. Okay, and she breaks it down. Um, so basically, that's about 1,370 books per day. 1,370 books per day. That means the publishing industry is churning out a lot of books. Now, I'm not saying that's an excuse for poor quality control, but a typo, a formatting problem on a page is not necessarily poor quality control. It's just a mistake once in a while. A mistake in 418 pages, oh, you know, we're going to survive that. So here's another way that uh, mistakes can creep into a book, a published book. And I'm going to use my own as an example because I'm not going to call out other authors. Okay, I don't like to call out other authors on, on mistakes or problems on this channel, okay? That's not what this channel is for. So I can mock and make fun of myself, all right? And we're going to do that right now. Okay, so back in 2007, my first book ever was published by Archibooks Publishing. 
we had a great, we had a great manuscript to work from, of course, right? We had a reasonable manuscript to work from. Bob Jolinas edited the thing. So he did help me fix and correct a lot of stuff in my first manuscript ever, okay? <laughs> I was very green. He fixed a lot of stuff. There was one particular scene that he wanted to yeet. He wanted to take out completely. And I'm cool with that because I'm a brand new author and he's the publisher and he's the editor and he knows what he's doing. Okay, so here's what it was. It was a scene where uh, two of the characters are taking three... Two of the characters are helping take three ships across the Meridor, ocean, the Ocean of Meridor. They're taking these three ships across from Onveild to Belan. Along the way, one of the ships sinks. It has to sink because they're sabotaging these ships, okay? They're carrying goods that they don't want to be carrying. So they sabotage one of the ships to sink. The other one, they sabotage to burn on the way into the harbor, okay? Well, my my publisher, he's like, this is kind of overkill, okay? You should sabotage, you sink one of the ships, got it. The other one, that's overkill. You don't need to let the other two get to the harbor. I'm like, okay, I'm with you. I believe you. I trust you. Let's do, let's do it. Well, that unfortunately left uh, a device later in the book where it, it, left, it left a scene hanging later in the book where one of the characters mentions the fire. And no one caught the fact that later in the book, someone mentions the fire in the harbor. Well, the fire in the harbor is gone. So that mention of the fire in the harbor is just out of, it just comes out of the blue. And someone reading the book for the first time would be like, what fire? So that mistake is in there. It's in that first book. It's in It's in this book. Like if you were to purchase the hardcover book, which is no longer available, um, you, you would find that scene. You'd be like, what fire? What fire? That's how a mistake like that can happen. Now, that's a pretty big one. That's a pretty glaring one. That's not a little typo. That's a big glaring mistake that we should have caught. And that's, of course, that has been fixed now because the thing has been redone and you can bet that scene, everything is fixed. It's all fixed. The other mistake that came into this book that drives me out of my mind is a typo. It's, it's just a typo it, that makes me crazy. My pet peeve as an author, as an editor, as a human being who speaks the English language is the, the confusion of its and its. It's I-T-S and it's the contraction of it is. When those two get mixed up, it drives me nuts. I have an English degree. It, it makes me crazy. Okay. And that is the error that happens on the exact last page of my novel. The last page. There it is. Big and glaring and ugly and making me crazy. How did that happen? I know, I know better. I wouldn't have typed that. Well, I did type that. Here's how it happened. The last, the last chapter, you know, has um, a cliffhanger. It's, it's kind of a, a big freaking deal. And we end with this big cliffhanger with the family, the, the main characters. And my publisher said, okay, this is good, but you need a scene showing us the other characters, the, the, the villain. What's he up to? What's happening with him? We, we are left hanging, not knowing what he's doing. I'm like, oh, you're right. Okay. So I wrote this scene like that, sent it to him, and he put it in. And we went to press. There was no editing. There was no fixing. There was no looking. There was no second checking. So the typo is there. I, I could I could read it to you just to, you know, exacerbate my, my humiliation. Uh, let's see. She tried desperately to bring her crying under control, knowing it, it would only anger him to see her betraying weakness, no matter what its cause. It's cause. It should not be. It is cause. It's just it's cause. But there it is. I T apostrophe S. And when I saw that upon publication, I, my stomach sank. I thought I was going to vomit. I mean, I just felt that oh, awful, right? Those kinds of mistakes happen because we change things. We fix things. We move things. Authors, editors, publishers, we move things around. We change things up. We add scenes at the last screaming minute and mistakes happen. And if you know that about the industry, you can be more compassionate. You can be more understanding. You can let it flow. You can let it slide. You can let it just flow off your back like water off a duck. Or you can be 
an asshat and you can DNF the book and one star your review and stop following the author and be rude about it either way. So that's how some of these things can happen. If you have some weird, freaky experiences in this, leave your comments below. Let us know about it because some of these stories are just too humorous for words, right? Some of them are kind of sad. Share. Thumbs up for, you know, getting through it together. Uh, please click the bell notification icon so that you're notified each time I do these pretty random things here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in, you guys.